Hey. Hey, you, 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 you know something? See that thing at the top that says beta 1.8.0.8? Yeah, I'm in the beta. See these weird spawn eggs down here? Yeah, um, they, they, they aren't, they aren't a hoax. These are an add-on. I, I, you'd have to be a pretty, like, you'd have to be an overachiever minecrafter to notice how many extra mob, how many extra eggs are here, but none of the mobs are replaced here. None. These are all new mobs with the new add-on update. This cobblestone cow? It's just a normal, wait, it's just like a normal cow. This XP cow? It's not quite like a normal cow, I mean, it poops XP. And drops nothing. And, and you see this, this ore pet? Well, I mean, it's like a wolf. Except it eats your diamonds. And these tigers? I mean, they're tigers. This is a new update for Minecraft in the beta. Hang on. For the beta. That adds add-ons. Or better add-ons. Add-ons have been in the game, but these add-ons actually add on. <laughs> so we've got we've got three add-ons here, or I guess four actually. We've got the Minecraft tech demo. We've got more cows. We've got tigers, and we've got ore packs. None of the mobs replace anything. All of these mobs are new. Nothing replaced. At all. As you saw, tamed ore pets, which look derpy as heck, but this is adorable, will attack hostile mobs such as the scorpion. You disappoint me! Finally! Okay. And then these more cows? Well, there's one for every kind of ore, plus obsidian. And each one actually drops the ore that they are meant to drop. And just to prove that it's replacing absolutely nothing, I can still spawn a cow! A normal cow. And even more proof, because you couldn't do this before, if I type slash summon, I can then type the kind of animal that I want, such as the coal cow, which you couldn't do before. Originally, you had to type in the original entity name. And I can do that with all the mobs that I currently have added. Why is this? I have no clue. Something about something about a new scripting engine for um, scripting engine for add-ons. I don't really care. It's awesome. Look at how cute they look when they sit. Oh! They're so cute. And they drop nothing. And tigers? Well, tigers can also be tamed. Or, normally they can. Hang on. And now it's my tiger. My tiger! Hi, tiger! So now if I, like, go over here. It's a tiger! Oh, this update's so great! And, and this opens a lot of possibilities. Like, previously, um, 
we had advanced add-ons or advanced where they would take things like shulkers and make new ores and and they would like make new items and such. Now, while you can't make new items, you can make new mobs, which means instead of using shulkers, you can make an entirely new mob to replace a block or to make new blocks. So we don't. So we no longer need to use pre-existing mobs to make things that we couldn't make before. Like there's a shark add-on that I really like. It was going to be part of my. Um, it was going to be part of my add-on mod pack that that's coming soon. You you'd already know about that if you were part of my Discord. Why aren't you part of my Discord yet? Yo. Yo. But yeah. Um, now, if that person wanted, they could make the shark an entirely separate entity, which spawns on its own, instead of replacing guardians. Th this opens up so many possibilities for the Minecraft community. It's really quite awesome. And this isn't even all of them. Like, have you ever wanted a duck? Well, here's a mallard. I think this is a mallard. Yeah, this is a mallard. You can have a mallard. Ever wanted a a skeleton with the legs of a horse? Well, Skeletar is a thing, if I can find them. Skeletar is a thing! Like, look at all this. This is great. This is amazing. You can give them whatever animations are already in the game, which really makes the the possibilities even more endless. And I'm sure one day in the future you'll be able to give them your own app, your own animation. Which will be even better. Probably. More than likely. I don't know, it, it might be a super buggy system. Um this one is absolutely creepy looking. Um, the spider illager. Have you ever wanted this monstrosity in your game? Probably not, but you can have it anyways. And, you know, no one will judge you, because this is a safe place. This is a safe place where we don't judge based on your want of... Whatever this thing is. I'm, I'm gonna kill it. It's creeping me out. Ah! Okay. So I haven't actually tested what these things can do. Apparently they are quite evil. I'm guessing these were supposed to attack me. But I'm in creative, so... It don't work like that. Like, look at this duck! That drops chicken. So that's so that's another thing. As I said, you can't replace the drops. Which would make things a lot better. But Um I don't know, there there's no but you can't replace the drops and that's that, that's quite a disappointment. Or you can easily replace the drops, but you can't make new drops. And there's no sounds yet. I'm, sh I'm sure soon there will be, but currently there are no sounds for the custom mobs. Y you beat them up and they just sound like the player. But this is all stuff that will probably be fixed before the beta, it, before the beta is push pushed out as an update. Because, as I said, <coughs> leave in the comments your response to that sneeze. Um, as I said, this is this is a beta. This is beta 1.8, 1.8.0.8. It will be updated. And I just thought I would show off this update because, yeah. It, it's the first one that really interested me because... I mean, as cool as pandas are, and cats are, they really aren't, like, the thing that I focus on. That's adorable. 
I will admit to that. That that is adorable. Eat my friend. I don't think we've had a mob that we could feed that way before. So I'm gonna end the video here on a happy note of pandas eating. So, I will see you all next time. Bye!